and we have a good view of your uh, WVS. Okay, so they're both closed. Now, is that the vertical you're talking about? That's affirmative, Shane. That's the vertical. And also, um, if, uh, do, you, can, do you think you can try and uh, give a couple of turns on those bolts? Sure. They are uh, they're spring loaded, so you need to push down before you attempt to close them. Okay. Hey, Luca, both bolts are uh, driven down, and they uh, looks like you're staying there. Okay, I copy the position myself for AP Fox Rock release and the wait for shame. Okay, I have a RET on the APFR. Copy checks. Excellent. Uh, can, uh, perform a glove inspection and a hub check. Okay, left glove looks good. Right glove good. It's got a few smears like the kind of the black stuff we had last time. And the uh, dry hat. Seven counterclockwise to Luca. Tamar Pesquet is putting up the settings, uh, being called up um, by Luca Parmentano of the, those settings, essentially just setting uh, the torque or the amount of force uh, that the pistol grip tool will be allowed to impart, and also whether or not it's going to be clockwise or counterclockwise. It's laid up. Okay. What orientation? This is mine right here. So you're in a good orientation, I think. Okay. And I'll go head down a little bit more afterward. Go look alive. And Tomah and Shane, uh, for for your um, situational awareness, what we're going to do, we will release Foxtrot, and uh, we um, we will pass it on to EV1, and it's going to be Shane taking it on his uh, BRT. This a view of Thomas Pesquet continuing to make his way. Again, you can differentiate between the two spacewalkers based on the legs of their suits. Thomas Pesquet, you can see, uh, has no markings on the legs of his suit. Uh, for Shane Kimbrough, though, you'll be able to see a bright red stripe around the thigh portion on each leg. It's not going down. Yeah, yeah because the DAP is still too slanted. Like the H2 side is very high. Okay. And the H1 side is all the way down in the in the slot. I have hold it for you. Got it? I have the PGT. And you have the P. Spacewalker Shane Kimbrough working to align that adapter plate. Once it's lined up, he'll have two bolts to drive using the pistol grip tool, the drill, uh, the electronic drill you can see him handling here through his helmet cam. And once those two bolts are driven, that adapter plate will be installed, and then they'll get ready to relocate a battery, a nickel hydrogen battery on top of it. Okay, I'm in position. Copy, check that the ingress aid is stowed. Uh, Tomai, you can transfer the battery to EV1, and at this point we recommend a red swap again. Uh, give me a glove inspection and a hub check, and then you can follow Tomai to the EP. Okay, my gloves both look good, no change, and dry hat. Copy.
tilt assembly and it's uh, for these external cameras on the station he just climbed over something that looks incredibly complex tom what what exactly are we looking at right here and what's it like again to work in that environment yeah it's uh, as complicated as it looks the um uh, climbing over it, it's a little bit of a challenge to not get yourself tangled up, your headlights in particular tangled up into the uh, the cabling and the um, mostly cabling that you see there. And I'm sure they're excited about that. Uh, the challenge is keeping your guard up and uh, keeping, as I say, keep real frosty here and, and uh, uh, attention to the task coming up. And he, he's handling the safety tether. Sometimes the, uh, the reel, the fishing reel, doesn't take in the tether fast enough. You can outrun your own tether, so he's waiting for a moment to let that tether tighten up before he heads down. A close-up view of Thomas Pesquet as he translates with that large bag there, the duffel bag looking object you'll hear referred to as a crew bag or an ORU bag. ORU again, another one of our lovely acronyms. It stands for On Orbit Replacement Unit. That's a generic term for just about any uh, replacement hardware item on board the International Space Station. Pesquet right now is making his way over to the mobile transporter uh, where this uh, failed camera light um, the only pan tilt assembly is located.